What is surprises me, in fact, is that we, we acknowledge that most of the skills we have, starting with reading and, and, and writing or playing chess or piano, we know we need to go to a process of practice, of training, but somehow we think that for some of our basic human qualities, just this is the way I am, you know. Well, that's the way I take it or leave it. I have to love my defect as much as my qualities, as if you could do nothing. But basically, what is our baseline is a skill that has never been cultivated. We, we don't train to run, so we cannot run a marathon. We don't learn to read and write, so we have the potential, but it's dormant. So I think meditation acknowledges the fact that for all those qualities, whether it's uh, focused attention, whether it's emotional balance, whether it's altruism or compassion, we have a baseline, but we have a lot, a, quite a lot of margin that we can move. And you know, the great discovery about neuroplasticity and epigenetics and all that shows that exposure to novel experiences, you change. So that's exactly what meditation does.